Uncle Jim King, uh, grandson of Albert King. I'm here with my friends in Memphis Horns, Wayne Jackson and Andrew Love. Alright, Uncle Wayne, Uncle Andrew. I'm going to take it from the top right here on this little shuffle deal. And uh, go ahead on. You ready? Y'all ready? You go ahead. Yeah.
I just, you know, he said, take a solo. I took a solo. Then all of a sudden, one day, he just called and said, meet me at the house. And I met him all at the house, and he said, hey, don't you start calling me grandpa. Change your last name to King. He said, because, you know, the name normally then was Jimmy Gales. But he said, change your name to King, and in the long run, he's going to help. When Albert introduced me to Jimmy as his grandson, I remember, uh, it was, it, what was it, King's Palace? Yeah. And, uh, and Albert was sitting there bigger than life, and, and uh, Jimmy was already playing. And so here, you know, I hadn't seen Albert, and he used to be my legal guardian when I was a kid, because I was still in high school when I was in his band, and my parents made him sign this paper that he'd be responsible and all that. He took it very seriously. He was stricter than my folks were. You know? It was like I tried to get out of the house and you know, to be on the road with a bunch of musicians, and he was stricter than my folks were. And, uh, and the thing was, is when I, I said, hey, Albert, here I am, and I went to sit down, shh, my grandson's still playing. Be quiet! You know, it was like, you know, I, thought, I was happy to see him. I thought I'd be happy to see him. He'd go, be quiet! He's doing a solo. Can you listen? And that's how we got started. He was, you know, so it was pretty, uh, pretty wild. <laughs>